hello everyone in this video we will create a report card uh, using ms excel so this is the uh, report uh, generation for a student okay we have uh, generate we will generate a report for the students for example we have students under a 200 how many students we have so we will generate a report like this okay for the students so uh, it is the demo that we will generate okay let's select here the roll number of the student okay we have the list of the roll numbers for the students for example first first see everything has changed to that seventh everything has changed according to the data okay the database that we have uh, so let's press like ninth record see it is paid no great and everything has shown like this okay so this is the um, report or the students um, report that we will generate in this video um, using ms excel so let's get started before starting so please subscribe learn and learn with you sub youtube channel and like the video and comment down so let's get started so for that report you need first of all to create okay to write the uh, data of students like this okay the name for the name and the subjects and other data that you want so you should write the subjects like this okay after writing the data of students we can also include the um, class okay class here i will add a column come here to the home first of all i will select this one home and insert sheet columns yeah i should add that to the uh, right side select this one home insert sheet columns i will uh, write the uh, class names okay for the students so i wrote the class name for the students so now let's start our card okay so come here to the excel i have a uh, hide the uh, uh, ribbon okay so to show the ribbon for that come here to the right side to this uh, right side you see this icon press this one whenever you press always show ribbon so it will show always the ribbon if you press show tabs only so it will display just the tabs bars now just come here to the yeah i will select the area for card okay i will select this area for card and now let's uh, change the background of this area just come here let's change the background yeah this is the background of this area and we will also add is uh, come here to the shapes or we can add here a frame okay this is a frame select this frame and draw the frame okay let's draw frame so after drawing frame see this yellow icon at the top let's first of all move it yeah like this so just move it to the left side so you will adjust the frame yeah so this is the border of our card after after applying this so now let's uh, move to the insert to the shapes into the text box see this select a text uh, box and draw the text box here here we will write the name of our school we can make it capital okay now let's come here and we will just increase the size control B and also we can change the font like this and we will remove the background come here to the shape format and no pill okay shape fill no pill and shape outline no outline to the right sides So it is okay now down from this we will light our address come here again i will just uh, control c control v and just uh, decrease the size of this to 12 and control b and bold it and also i will change it to curly right right your school address here okay here you will write the address of our school bring it here now we will just take a logo to the left side come here to the insert to the pictures to this device i have already a logo so i will just put it on the left side let's move it to the left side this is our our logo and on the right side i will just place uh, the phone icon and just come here to the insert to the icons and let's search here um, call 
and I will just take this one insert it bring it here or we can place it here here it will looks like well let's decrease the size of this Insert shapes text box. Here we will write our phone number. Whatever is that, okay? No format, no fill, and bring the text to the center. left side so here we will write our phone number and just come here down and here we will write just make it small and control C control V bring it here report card increase the size so this is our report card we can also change the text okay let's uh, yeah that is okay and now here uh, what we will do first of all here we will write the rule number and class name father name here I will list them here so let's adjust these columns I will move it to the left side here and in this column let's make it a little bit So here I will write role number down I will write name father name and um, class after writing this now let's make it to the left side bring it here here I will write colon the colon will be existed in the center and let's copy that and I will paste that here here and also here let's select all these cells control B board them and after that here in these cells uh, I will find uh, the value let's make it wider So here the rule number first of all we will fix the rule numbers all who num whole rule numbers that we have for the students okay let's adjust I will adjust this uh, um, the header section later later okay or I will adjust it right now okay that it is the time to adjust it so I will adjust this area later okay whenever I fetch the students records okay don't worry for this design okay we will adjust it later so first of all now let's pitch the uh, rule number okay so to fetch the rule number what we need first of all uh, we will write more to the data tab and here to the data tools and to the data validation in the data validation here we will select list in here our source okay source is equal to with let's select our this is for example our rule numbers okay so this is our rule number press okay so let's select the tab down see these are our rule numbers that we have okay this is the rule number of our students we can select now let's pitch the name father name and class for the uh, rule number that we have selected okay just come here here we will write equal to vlookup 
function and here the lookup value this is our lookup value this uh, mm, rule number okay we will change it we will fix it let's press f4 so after pressing it let's press comma after that we will select table array okay just come here to the database and we will select whole our all our data so after selecting it we will change it to the um, fix or absolute press f4 that has converted look at the menu bar uh, uh, formula bar at the top that has converted okay let's write here comma after that column index what we want to find first of all we want to find the name of that so the name is in second column so here we will write second and after that range lookup that is true or false we will write true okay for a uh, false for exact match close the parenthesis and press enter let's now select an id c for the second hasib has fixed let's select another one five kamal has fixed for that okay now same to that formula we will uh, copy this formula okay Control c and paste it here and now we will edit this formula okay so to edit this formula press f2 after pressing uh, f2 instead of name we will pitch father name so for that we need to change the column that is and three ca third column okay press enter c the father name is yusuf now let's pitch the uh, uh, class okay Control c Control v so to change it press f2 after that it is on fourth column let's change it to fourth column press enter c 12th class so everything has changed automatically now let's move this data to the center so let's select all these cells and home move the data to the center and control b bold it it will looks like this okay we can increase the size also for this that is okay now so now I will show the report of marks and pass or pale and the percentage in this area so for that let's come here we need uh, first of all we will like the uh, header or that subject uh, after the second one is total marks and obtained marks or we can write first of all passing marks okay marks obtained marks and percentage and pass and fail pass or fail now I will adjust the header for this okay select them so that is okay now Control B bold it and also we will assign all border to this okay so should just come here to the home all borders so after adding it so let's increase the size of this a little bit and also this is okay like this and passing marks obtained marks is also okay percentage and pass and fail is also okay now here we will write first of all uh, how many subjects we have let's write copy the name of these subjects okay just copy these Control C and I will paste them here. Come here to the uh, home menu and to the paste special and then as value and transpose them because they were in the row we want to change them into the column. So these are our subjects name. Here total marks for every subject is 100. Let's copy them and the passing marks for the subjects for math 55 for chemistry 50 uh, physics 50 and biology uh, 50 okay these are the passing marks and the obtained marks we will find uh, how many marks a student has obtained so for the obtained marks again we will use the same VLOOKUP function as we used for name and for the name and class let's paste it here now what we will do we will just change the column number for this uh, for the math let's come here to the 
formula and methazone for second third fourth fifth okay and the fifth let's press f2 this is on fifth column five press enter c we got that okay and the same for formula we will copy for other cells and we will just change the column number for this one sixth okay and for this one seventh and for this one eighth Let's close it press enter so these are the obtained marks after that the percentage let's equal to obtained marks divide by 100 okay total marks press enter so let's copy for all of them now let's change the format the now this to the uh, percentage okay press this that has converted to the percentage and pass and fail let's equal to F. open the bracket and if the obtained marks were greater than uh, passing marks so then we will write passed else fail failed okay close it it is it is passed okay let's copy it for all of them so that is all are fast with us right now okay so um, what else remain let's select this data and we will just make it to the center and add our border So now here down from that here we will just uh, display the total marks obtained and the result here right here total marks obtained marks and percentage let's it here and here uh, now we will the total mark is equal to some function we will use it and we will just sum all sorry these okay these values close it press enter so the total mark is 400 and for the obtained mark equal to sum and the obtained marks we will sum all these values press enter 284 and the percentage is equal to this obtained marks divide by total marks and press enter let's change it to the percentage select this one that has changed to for percentage let's select them and home I will add all border I will add some more designs at the last okay now I will leave it like this so here uh, on the right side we will find the uh, result final result and grade okay let's just come here final result and create the final result okay so to find that equal to so we will use that if uh, um, which for a function we should use for the final result so for that we will use this percentage okay if uh, um, let's use if this the final percentage was greater than 50 okay if it was um, greater than 50 percent so what we will do then we will display past else felt right now it is passed with us okay increase the size of this and for the grid now we will find the grid for the grid let's uh, write here uh, zero percent uh, seventy percent eighty five percent and uh, we can write uh, we will change it to the eighty percent and ninety percent or the zero percent for example uh, no great seventy percent uh, group Mm, grade C, grade B, and grade A. That is okay now. So for that we will use the lookup function. Okay, mm, it's equal to lookup. 
open that so the lookup value now so our lookup value is this okay this percentage the final percentage comma then we will select lookup vector so this is our lookup vector then comma then we will select this um, okay result vector like this one and close it press enter so it is great C with us okay between 80 and 70 percent that is great C with us so that has found automatically let's select this come here to the home and add all border and here we can add principal signature also come here to the insert to the shapes to the text box principal make it to the center like this that is okay so now I will just design it okay I will add some designs to this okay to make to looks better so finally our design looks like this okay I add underline and change the color of this and make it bring it to the center and bold it also bold these also and now let's change the color of these to white color okay make them white and now let's move to the view and remove the grid lines so this is our now let's change uh, student see everything has changed automatically so now let's add some data uh, which is paled with us and here uh, to this uh, ninth rule number I will add here uh, 40 and make it also 40 okay so that has changed let's come here now we will select ninth number see it has failed in two subjects chemistry and physics and no grade and uh, final result is passed because the percentage is greater than 50% okay it means in these two um, other two he uh, got a good uh, score okay in uh, let's check it in the biology uh, 78 in math 40 it is failed in 3 but uh, passed here we should change it it means the for why the percentage is yeah the percentage because the percentage is uh, he got 203 marks and the percentage is greater than 50% uh, that we have assigned and we can change this percentage also for example to the 60% okay you can configure however you like just come here and I will change it to the 60% press enter so that is paid right now with us now let's select another student 11 C create C past and 78 percent so it will ask about, about how to create a student uh, a report card in MS Excel I hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel thanks for watching